morning, everyone. Welcome to my little corner where there is no wrong way to play with paper. And today we're going to do our first layout of the Warehouse Box Buzz series, inspired by the lovely Janet Madison at RTS Scrapbooking. I'll have her links below. This is 100% her idea, and I am just going to do my version of it because she inspires me just that much. She's an amazing gal. Make sure you Check her out on Patreon and on YouTube, and we're just gonna have some fun. Now, yesterday I made the page kits, and today I am going to put together the first layout. Now, I forgot that I wasn't gonna do a base and just embellishment, bellish, so I did cut a couple papers, so for that, I apologize, but it's a new series, and I gotta get in a new groove, right? <laughs> okay, so I did get inspired by this sketch here, um, let's see if I can bring it up close. And it is, Page Maps is a free website where you can totally download and print off their um, uh, monthly idea sheet. I don't know what else you would call it, to be honestly. This is from April of 2019. Janet is using a totally different one. So, you know, follow her, watch me, and let's all go on a little journey. So, um, I am going to do this one, and this is the photo um, from, let's see, 2017 when Miss Mary was born with her auntie, Julie Jo, and I am going to do something a little different. So while this sketch inspires me, it's not set in stone for me. Uh, they have some little curly bits, and I have pulled out a border punch from Stampin' Up that I'm gonna use on this. And then I just have some goodies. I have um, MK's gifts here, and I think I'm gonna let them be my title. It says, choose to shine and be authentic. And other than just kind of being inspired by this layout, other than that, I'm pretty much gonna do it my way. I'm not gonna lie, that's the way it's gonna be, <laughs> which is totally okay. So let's just tack things down. That's what I usually do first. Um, just so things don't move, they're not permanent. I can totally move them if I want to. And they have theirs, I think it looks more towards one side. Theirs is actually um, horizontal. I'm going to do mine vertical because my photo is vertical. Now, I need to punch this real quick. So let me set this aside. And I will do it right over here. You guys are gonna get to see me in all my mess. <laughs> Just a just a regular gal scrap, and that's the way it is for me. I'm going to make mistakes, but by golly, I'm going to have some fun, too, while I make those mistakes. So, I was kind of thinking maybe I would back this layout. I'm not really sure. We'll see how that... You know, I can't do this sitting sideways. Just line it up on the little guide that they give you, and punch it again. And we'll just do this real quick. I might even edit this depending on how long our video goes. So you guys will see me start, but then you'll see me finish. Like magic of television, right? <laughs> so I'm super excited. Got my internet, they dug the trench because I live in the middle of nowhere. So this is like a big deal. And today they called me yesterday. They're supposed, they were supposed to do it next week, like actually install it. But they called me, they got an opening, so they're supposedly coming today. So I might get interrupted in the middle of this and have to let them in. And of course my internet is in my scrappy space. There we go, just like that. So this is going to be tucked in there and I don't think I need a temporary adhesive because I don't know if I'm gonna bring it out, if I'm gonna pull it in. So now these are scraps I do not keep. <laughs> There's nothing I could do with those, right? <laughs> oh, don't put it past me. If I made more pocket pages, I'm telling y'all, I would keep that for confetti. For real, for real. Okay, so we have this, and I straighten everything out when I glue it. So I don't really stress about it being perfect right this moment. And when I said I was going to back it, I'm thinking, because I have this in the page kit, I'm thinking maybe I might go like this. Now, I'm not 100% sure. We'll see. Not not 100% sold on that. We'll just leave it there and see what happens. Okay, 
Now, the reason I picked these embellishments, MK, because I had that whole box that, bless her, she gifted me, and it has all the colors, right? So we got teal, we've got the peachy color, we've got a little bit of pink, which this borders on pink where this is peach, and we got different color greens, and these are a little more green green, but I think it'll be okay. That's why I pulled this darker in to just kind of a variation of green, and that is just my thought process. So I'm thinking, I want the photo. Where do I want my title? Oh, that's right. I'm going to just use these as a title. Yeah, because I, yeah, because I'm thinking maybe, look, it wanted to go there anyway. Maybe this would go here because I don't want to see that little outlet. Oh, the things that are in our house. Gotta have cable though, right? <laughs> Actually, I don't have cable anymore. I, I refuse to pay what they want for cable. It's insane. Okay, so then I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do for clusters. This, while well, these are, I see these as just bases to build off of to make bigger clusters. So I say this all the time, while MK gave me these and I run the Love RTS swaps, use it as a base. Once it's yours, you can do whatever you want to it. It's yours. So go to town. Have a good time. Okay, so just like that. I did pull some other elements. I have a gold, which might be kind of shiny. For that, I'm sorry, let me tilt it. It's just a gold sticker that I had in my embellishment bin. I had this that was actually in my put away bin and I thought, oh, it says shine, fun, girls. Um, I think it's actually meant to go this way, but that's not, that's not gonna work for me. This would, because she has on bright pink and blue. So I also brought in a button I brought in a little arrow. Again, I'm sorry if these glare. Maybe if I put them over there, they won't be so bad. And then I found this in my put away bin too. It's got some pink in it. Now we got different variations and I know that. I did that on purpose because I love this paper. I bought this kit to do Jilly's photos, but she has on blue and bright pink. So I'm just going to make it work. Sometimes that's what we have to do. And then I have a whole bunch of paper flowers that I think I'm going to fill in just a cluster here and a cluster here. And then I will journal over here in the corner at a later time, probably later this week. I usually, I usually journal on like Saturday evening when my family's playing VR games or something I don't want to do. <laughs> so maybe we can tuck this in there a little, eh, we'll, we'll just try, see how that works. Now all I'm going to do, I'm gonna concentrate on one cluster at a time and I'm going to just build this up. That's my thought process. And to do that, now if I have gold there, I'm doing gold because in case embellishments have gold in them. And let's see here. So if I put that there, I should probably put this maybe down here which I'm kind of taking a cue from the sketch here in just one moment, I'll show you that. Okay, so the sketch, they have a little bit, a subtitle and they have their title and, and such. Now remember, mine's turned, okay? So I'm instead of doing a subtitle, but I will bring in another element of paper, another layer, um, and it also kind of works as a base where this is the base for up here. Okay, now I think what's gonna tone this all down and what's going to um, make it work, right? Because I feel like I have a lot of different colors in one thing is I am going to use very plain um, fabric flowers. And I think that'll tone it all down. We'll tuck them and then we'll just have little bits and pieces poking out of the pink that will kind of tie it all together with the photos. That's my thought. So since I have that element here, wondering if I can't make this work here, um, maybe, we'll see. And this has that bright pink, very closely matches. This one has a little bit of blue, which matches here. So if I have that blue there, and I don't need a ton, I just wanna tie it together. Maybe, maybe there? Oh, I like that. Should I go up further? No, should go down. And yes, I talked to myself. We've had this discussion before, y'all. <laughs> Don't be shocked. <laughs> okay, so I also pulled out my little color photo things. I have some pink in here. Um, I pulled out my white ones. These ones sit on my desk. And then I pulled out these elements as well. So 
I'm just going to do my very best to tuck and try to pull everything together. So let's just have some fun. Like this one, see, it's really close, but it's a little more blue. So we're just gonna see what happens here. Let's start with our white elements and I'm gonna focus up here again, like I said. So let's see, I probably can do maybe a small one up here, maybe. And then that's white, white. Let's, let's take a little bit of inventory. These are all my white flowers that I have left. I'm gonna have to buy some more. Cheapest place to buy these hands down is Amazon. You get a ton. I have not bought flowers in a long time. Oh, that looks like a poinsettia leaf. Um, This one is a little bit big, I feel. I mean, I could, let's see. And they're just, they're, I said they're cloth, but they're really not. They're like paper. You can just mold them to whatever you want. Oh, this has a piece of acetate on it, so. That's kind of, I don't know, though. I kind of like that. Bring some pink in, a pale pink. Could even maybe try to find another one. Let's see what we got here. Let's see, let's see. Ooh, here's a pretty pale pink. It's a little crumpled up. Oh, I think there's more than one on there, actually. Is there? Um, yes, there's several. Okay, so this is a pretty pale pink and just kind of smush it around. It gives it texture, so I don't really worry about it too much. Okay, and we'll just glue these together. When I glue it down, I will totally glue them together. It's... Um, that's piece of acetate is driving me crazy. Okay, well, obviously I will make that work. We'll make sure we can see the words. And I like that the gold elements are coming out. And I wonder if I shouldn't try to get a little green or teal right inside of there. I'm liking these pastel -y colors. Okay, so that's one big one. I have one small one there. Um, I could even do like this one. And that would be three on here. So that's not too bad. I like that. And in the middle, I would probably do maybe some gold gems and or this peachy color. I know I have some peachy color enamel dots. We'll just kind of play that by ear. Maybe even black. I don't know. We'll see. When I glue it down, I'll decide that. And then I will put some enamel dots around here. Most likely black too because the lettering is black. Okay. So now that I like this one so far, I don't think I wanna change it. I do like that one. I am going to focus on this one and I'm thinking maybe a flower here. Let's see, we have one, two, a tiny one, but I'm not gonna count that one because it's, it's tiny. It'll create a little cluster within there, right? And so how many should we put down here? Um, I could do this one right here. And we'll just find centers for them. I don't think I wanted to put another ginormous one. That, that one's pretty big and that's fine. I like it, but um, I might even be able to ink the edges of these petals. I will probably do that to be honest with you. So we could do two, maybe one right there. That'll tone down the gold a little bit. Let's see here. Maybe just dig through what I got. No, that's way too dark. Look how big that one is. Isn't that pretty though? Oh, that's a pretty flower. It's too big for what we're doing though. Oh, here we go. Here's a center. This would work for that one. Eh, it's a little too aqua. It is. I don't know that. What color is this one? Ooh, that's a peachy color. I don't even know what it's doing in there, but score. <laughs> Boy, that one. Let's see here. Let's see. This one's an off color. It's in the wrong one too, but it really closely matches. So we could use that as well. Maybe even, what if we were to trade this out with this and put that there? Oh, that looks nice. I like them both though. Probably not. I'm not a very decisive person sometimes when it comes to these flowers. They make me a little nervous, if I'm being honest. I don't know why, right? There's no reason to. 
Okay, and maybe a little one right there. And I mean little. Like that. And pink. We need to draw some pink in here. So maybe even a little pink one. Here we go. What if I were to put this one? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's not my first choice. Let's see, if we dump some of these out, maybe. Oh, this is a lot paler pink. I like this one. Okay, so not this one. I think you're supposed to go over there. And this is like tripled up here. Could go just like that. Where I need, I think I need a little bit. I mean, I do have this blue. This one's just not working for me. Come on. Oh, look at this tiny one. This is tiny. Will that fit inside of there? and give me a little bit of blue? No, but you know, it would look good there. And then I would have some more blue over here. This looks good. Okay, I like that. That one's even bigger. I mean, it's still one flower. Hmm. Kind of. Just playing. I mean, I do have that arrow and I will straighten it all out, make it all work. You know, right now it's gonna wanna move on me. Should I just put this in there? I do like that better. Okay. And then I'm thinking maybe this should be pink. Well, I like that. That belongs there more than it does over here. I could use this one. Okay, there we go. There. All right, so then I basically have five. I mean, six if we count that one. Maybe I'll stick another little one over here just so I feel good about the fact it's an odd. But I, I really like that, and I like the fact that I am using the beautiful embellishments that MK gifted me and having fun. Yeah, I like that. Okay, I'm going to go glue it down, and I will be right back. All right, you guys, I'm back. I got it all done. Um, trying to think, I think I mixed the flowers up a little bit, but the same flowers are on there. I think I put, this one was supposed to be up here. I don't remember. Anyway, <laughs> got it all done. I did add a journaling block over here to the side. Just kind of made this all go together. I did add black enamel dots, which I think pulled in the text. I added the year and I did these felt Gina Marie enamel dots. Um, if you've never shopped at Gina Marie for enamel dots, you get a ton of them for like two bucks. Seriously, I will put that link below also. And just like that, layout one is done. Make sure you go hit that description button and check out Janet Madison. You know, Patreon is where she did this series, but she also has a YouTube channel and I'll have both linked below. Definitely worth the $1 a month. A lot of those creators charge a lot to um, share their content, Janet does not. She truly is just a very giving, loving person and she's having giveaways right now. So definitely go and, and check out her channel, have some fun, and I hope you will come back and see me next time when we do layout too. Have a wonderful blessed day and I'll see you later. Bye.